Stephen Yen's cooking show, Walk with Yen, was a staple in Canadian homes, introducing millions to Chinese cuisine. And his rise to fame included appearances on shows like Late Night with David Letterman, Live with Regis and Kelly, and Good Morning America. And although he's been retired for years, he is back in the spotlight with a collection that is pure nostalgia. Please welcome culinary legend Stephen Yen to the show. I watched you for so long, and I never thought I'd get an opportunity to meet you. Really? So this is a, no, you're like a huge part of my childhood. So it's an honor to meet you. And I understand that you moved from Hong Kong to Canada in the 1960s. Talk to us about how your passion for cooking turned into a TV show. Well, when I went, came to North America, mm -hmm. the first thing I find out is this. There's so much misunderstanding mm -hmm. of the cooking, particularly on the cooking. This year, egg foo young. Chop <laughs> suey. I, I am a professional cook, mm -hmm. but I never heard of those things. Yep. In Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> so something has to be done because all this misunderstanding mm -hmm. is creating problem. Mm -hmm. Because you don't know, so how are we going to improve your eating? Mm -hmm. your, well, I run a restaurant, so how are you going to order if you don't know how? So always chop suey and the other thing. You get sick of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we need varieties. And also, I want to tell the truth. Mm. What is the real Chinese food? Yeah. 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 So mm. I want to share that with you. But how? So uh, I have to learn this from when you are in Rome, you do what the Romans do. <laughs> so I don't know what the Romans are doing. They're not, they're not walking. <laughs> <laughs> See what he did there? That's right. yeah. So I, I learned, OK, or well, maybe I should just show them share the thing with them. But how are we going to do that? Because uh, I cannot do this two tablespoons over here, two tablespoons over here, and then all of a sudden, underneath, bring out the chicken. It's already done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, to me, that's che cheating. Yeah. Right? So There's a lot of life. cooking show there like that. Mm -hmm. So I said, OK, we have to be real. I also have to understand that most people work. And then also, they, they, they're stuck in the kitchen. They have to be happy. Mm. If you have a happy cook, you have a happy food. Yes. So. Oh, right? oh, I love that. So if, if I may ask, you know, uh, my mother's Filipino, and you were the first Asian I ever oh. saw on television, mm -hmm. ever, as a kid. I know. So you broke through those barriers. What was that like? Well, I feel honored, mm -hmm. because I was the one that went to the Hollywood theater, put my finger in. Wow. Oh. Oh. I never dream about that, you know, and then see, I, but actually, I don't like that idea because once the finger's in, your name is in, everybody step on that. <laughs> <laughs> right? So what's the point? You know, I, I want people to, to uh, be happy and share with me. That's why I come to Toronto now. I've been out of the limelight for 30 years and then taking care of myself because I took care of everybody, share the, the cooking. Mm -hmm. And then so that we are together and live together. We share our life, mm -hmm. a living on this planet. And we breathe the same, we eat the same food. So we have to be happy. Mm. So there you are. So I want, so that I developed the, the, the show with happiness. Oh, that's very Can we nice. talk a little bit more of that? Because I think as memorable as the cooking demonstrations were, what people also remember you for was your comedy. And you yes. would open every show yes. with that comedy. So here's a clip. Talking about Vanna White, did you hear that Vanna White is getting married? Instead of rice, everyone will throw alphabets at her wedding. <laughs> oh, so a little Wheel of Fortune joke there. Um, how right. did you come up with that format? Well, we all all want to be happy. Yep. Look at that, all the, the ladies and all the audience that are happy. Life is short. We have to be happy and enjoy, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you look at something, this, uh, you know, I don't understand people, why, why they uh, uh, throw a rice, you know, to, to <laughs> the, the people. Wedding. Huh? Yeah. At the wedding. At the wedding. 
Why, why, why do they that? What a waste. Yeah. <laughs> you need that rice. Right? <laughs> See, there you are. So we, we cannot tell people this is wrong, mm -hmm. but you can tell them in a different way. For example, in English, you say, good night. Now, it could be very rude, right? And you say, good night, <laughs> tong dang, same thing. Mm -hmm. Then you, you do it. So why not? So I learned that most North American, mm -hmm. Canadian American, same thing, that they like to be relaxed, like to enjoy, and they don't want stress. That's yeah. right. That's right? That's so true. there you are. Cooking is, should not be in, in distress. Yeah. Because you, you consider what people love to eat, how much they can eat, do they like spicy food or not? Mm -hmm. You have to do things together. It's a teamwork. <laughs> love action. Yeah, That's what it is. Absolutely. That's why I want, want to do it. So we share. Because the Chinese cooking, a lot of cook, they just cook, 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 cook. But that's not good because we are sharing with people. We have to be communicating. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's why true. I love you so much because you like to cook and I like to eat. That's why I, was, I love it. <laughs> but you also had some great puns. Can I say some of them? Uh, what the heck? <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> Walk around the clock. Uh, you are what you eat. <laughs> now, each show, you popped on an apron with a new one. So how did you come up with these trademarks? That was brilliant. Well, like I say, well, I have to do it when I do it in Rome, I have to do it. And then the most out of American, they like to be happy again. So they want something. Always say, what the heck is this? <laughs> so I said, what? What? So... So I use the word walk and change it because I find out so many things. Like, what's new pussycat? Yeah. <laughs> See, like the walks, you know, why not, you know, do it. So try to be a, a little bit more creative and creative with fun so that we can all happy and cook a nice view not burn the food. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be funny. You know what I love is that your sayings, um, they have become iconic. I remember so many of them, and I think your fans are going to be thrilled mm. because you recently teamed up with Retro Kid to create a first ever apparel line dedicated to you <laughs> and your show. We want to let all the viewers know. Uh huh. What can we this line launches on August the 15th. So tell us more about this amazing line of apparel. Okay, those are the one I took me 30 some odd years for a uh, <laughs> little kid, you know, to try to find me because I was hiding everywhere. <laughs> I want a simple life. But I got also a lot of mail mm -hmm. and then they're on the YouTube and things like that, you know. And I just cannot believe people are still remembering me after 35 years. Yes. And then they, they... <laughs> And then they want to know whether I'm as alive or not. <laughs> I am alive. Yes. 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 <laughs> You're very much alive. So now after six years, you know, Rijo Kit, they, they find me, and they, I was so impressed, their genuine sincerity, you know, want to give me a chance. Mm -hmm to pay back time to the fans, mm -hmm. the cooking fans, the cookers, yeah. not the hooker. <laughs> so they, they come in here, so, so I'm coming to Toronto, and then Purple is come here to pay back. So there's a lot of people, they will be coming to the Royal Theatre, yeah. coming this Saturday, okay? And then uh, right there, I'm going to be giving you an opportunity to ask questions. So instead of doing cooking, I'm tired of cooking. Yeah, <laughs> you want to talk. So I want uh, to, to give you the chance to ask questions, and I will tell you all the secrets that you want oh, to know. Oh, amazing. 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 Yes. Steven, so Steven. come. Yeah. Come for this uh, opportunity, yeah. the Royal yeah. Theatre, this right. Saturday. And to people who can't make it, thank you so much. On behalf of all of your fans, thank you so much for everything that you've done for us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.